Eh. Move this here. Hey everyone, this is Duskull Makas That Gamer, and this is Yuma Nikki Dream Diary, the 3D reimagining of Yuma Nikki, which was made by the companies you just saw flash by and some studio which helped make the silver case of Suda 51. Now, there's a lot of stuff I kind of want to say before we get started, so I apologize for this sort of upfront beginning. So, this game released while I was away on a trip. I was visiting my grandmother, it was her 84th birthday. And so I went with my parents and such, and we go, went and go, go visited her and all that fun stuff. And while I was on the trip, Human Nikki Dream Diary came out. I was actually a little bit bummed that I wasn't able to play this on release because I was really excited for it. I've been sort of thinking about it. However, though, I do know it released, and I've tried to avoid most spoilers, but I do know there's been some of a mixed reaction to the game. This set, though, I'm still personally looking forward to it. So before, I did see, of course, some of the trailers and lead-up material stuff. What I can say from what I've seen is that it doesn't really remind me too much of Yumaniki outside of the aesthetic. It actually reminds me more of the Twilight Syndrome games. If you've never heard of that series, that was another series by Suda51. Its original entry was on Super Nintendo, and it's had like five or six games. None of them have never been localized in English. And part of me thinks that maybe this project came into fruition because maybe because they helped Suda51 make the Silver Case and the upcoming Silver Case sequel remake. Maybe they're working on Twilight Syndrome remakes? I actually desperately hope so. I really want those to exist. And this might have been like testing the waters for that sort of system. Because this game, from the bits I've seen, remind me tremendously of the Twilight Syndrome games. It looks like it controls just like them. In fact, it looks a lot like them outside the Humaniki aesthetic. Now, am I right or wrong about that? No idea. But that's what it reminds me of. Outside of that, though, I'm pretty blind. I've heard, of course, from the mixed reception, and I'm willing to give it a shot, though. In fact, I'd even say I'm excited to play it. We're going to kind of kick straight into this and hopefully enjoy it. So I'm playing with a keyboard and mouse setup. Here we have our fun human nicky in the wind over there. Yeah, it looks pretty good, all things considered. Now, I've heard a lot of people say, the graphics don't look that great. Which, I guess, I personally like the aesthetic. I think the lo-fi look works very well for the game. But then again, I play games on the PS1 and older systems all the time. So what do I know? I play fucking Amigo games. Where you, what, what do I know, I guess? I just think it has a nice aesthetic which is fitting with what I've seen. Now, besides this, I'm going to kind of kick in. Maybe my opinion will sour. Maybe it'll blossom while I'm playing this thing. I did look at the settings a bit earlier. I mean, obviously, language, audio, I'm going to keep as it is. Tell me if the game's too loud, I'm too loud, whatever, and I'll hopefully adjust a little bit. Also, I should mention this, I heard that the game was really buggy. In fact, I almost forgot to mention that. Thank you for reminding me there, chat. I've heard the game had a lot of bugs when it first released. We are playing this a few days after release. Almost, not not quite. A, no, no, yeah, it's been it's about five, six days after release. Uh, we're on version 1.04, as you can see in the bottom right-hand side of the screen. Ho I, hopefully some of the bugs are fixed. We'll probably encounter some still, but, you know, is what it is. All right. Going through there, controls, this, that, polywhack, give our dog a bone. We'll go and go human Nikki and home. I'm gonna click new game and just see what we have to experience. Choose a page to write. I guess I will close the diary now, I'll put it right here. Start a new game on page one. Yes. This game says automatically at certain points we're playing. Please don't turn off the power while a diary icon appears on the screen. Can I dismantle my computer? No? Okay. Saving right now, in fact. Yuma Nikki Dream Diary is an indie game based on Kikiyama's mysterious universe. It was developed in the strict supervision, always with profound respect towards the original work. Now, wake up. That's what I did do this morning. How did no? Alright, so I'm going to have to figure out my controls here. Maybe since I have the controller plugged in, it wants... You know what? Sure, I'll play with the controller. I do have the controller plugged in. I think it wants me to use the controller. Alright, I'll use the controller. I hope you're okay with that game. Yeah, it, it wants me to use the controller. Alright. What if I unplug the controller? Can I... You hear a little bubble pop because that's what my controller sounds make. Will it switch controls? No? Okay. Well, that means I'll replug in my controller. Let me, let me get that taken care of. Actually, I need to move my controller wire. Yeah, that's good. All right. Controller popped in. And there you go. Look, I can move. I can jump. I'm a fucking dolphin girl, as it seems. Matasuki confirmed dolphin. We got this. She has a voice now. 
So, I, I should mention this. I am actually super blind on this game. I, I knew all, basically everything I just said was the stuff I knew. I'm surprised she has any sort of VA. In fact, I honestly thought they weren't going to go that direction. It seems like we're not... I mean, maybe we're inside the dream world right now. I mean, I can't say, but it looks more normal-ish. I'm trying to figure out my buttons. That's that. Effects. Collectibles. Okay. What else do we got? At the moment, it just looks like move. Um, can we move? Walk slowly. If I hold it ever so gently, I can. I personally don't mind the walking cycle, but this is like the sort of walking cycle I see a lot of people complain about, so you know, I can't really comment too much. The walking cycle actually looks weirder to me. Uh, like, it looks like... She, I'm trying to imagine somebody walking like this towards me in like a dark alley. I don't know, it's just kind of an intimidating walk pose. I'm not saying that she herself looks intimidating, but like the pose is kind of like a one of intimidation. I don't know, that's just my imagination, so I'm guessing we can't go back through here. Actually, I don't know what the interact... What would the interact button be? She could jump stupidly high! What, Matatsuki, you should fucking go into the... Imagine if you could just... Like, look, she's just standing on nothing and whoop! She could jump, like, almost her whole body height off the fucking ground! Fucking going for some competition with that Mario fellow, I see. Anyways, I'm gonna go on a little nice walk for the mention. I cannot currently work on a walk on any of the axes, so I'm just gonna kind of, <laughs> I guess, fazz out there for a second. I'm just having fun, don't mind me. So I should mention I'm gonna be taking my time exploring and probably being a bit silly. Uh, some people don't like my playstyle, but some people do. Uh, we'll see how that plays out for me at the moment. Now we can see the magnificence of having things now in the foreground, which I can't interact with. Can I press up and go inside there? No. My Suki's not even going to go play through the playground. Now, I, this is just me, myself, and I, but I would personally take the road as opposed to jumping through the park. But, you know, My Suki could do what she damn well pleases, I guess. She can have fun jumping around here through. Okay. Guess we're going back to our apartment. So Maratsuki isn't just a shut in. Given that she did come out of the convenience store, or the convenience store, and I guess you do need to get food somehow. Do you think she lives alone? I was always under the impression in the original game that she was living with somebody. Like her room was just a room. Now I understand that she was in an apartment, but I was thinking, and I know there's one room apartments, but her apartment was missing some facilities, you know? Like she didn't have a bathroom, for example. <laughs> or anything to eat. So I was always kind of under the impression that her room wasn't like the full house, it was just her room. Um, yeah, and also I've also, I've seen enough J-horror films to know that there are apartments in Japan that are composed of more than one room, so. I feel dorky, but that's how I know that. <clears throat> a lot of J-horror films take place with people living in apartments. I've seen actually quite a few in the movies. I'm not sure how, how much the movies reflect reality, but I'd like to imagine that at least that aspect has some sort of response. Also, I didn't really mention this. I have an inventory, which is just my effects and collectibles. I was just, just thinking about that. I wanted to interact with the vending machine, but I guess not. We'll just take a little stroll, enjoy the way, jump under the light. Like, okay, I just noticed this about her jumping animation. Her, her jumping, I don't, I've been jumping so much, I haven't really noticed this until I was under this light here. Oh, when she jumps, she's doing, like, this weird fact. I, I wish you guys could see me right now, see what I'm trying to do. It's like she crosses her arms over her chest, flips up with her hair, with her head in the sky, and then puts her legs up, like she's doing some sort of weird pose when she jumps. Do you see what I'm talking about? Okay, well, whatever the case, we'll continue. It's fine, she's fine. It's just, it's kind of almost like she's doing some sort of weird holy ritual when she goes in the air. Also, the cutscene just triggered because something's happening. Blood. So, I'm going to spoil the shit out of the original Yuma Nikki right now. Because <laughs> I'm just going to warn you. I'm assuming that this, because of this right here, I'm going to assume right now this probably takes place after the original Yuma Nikki. Uh, this is, yeah, the suicide site from the original Indian Yuma Nikki, right? Oh, here we go. I think, is this a sequel as opposed to like a remake? I knew it was a reimagining, but I don't actually know its placement with whatever. We'll find out though. Because that was basically a super huge allusion to the original Yumaniki. I'm gonna leave this on for a second just to talk for a second. So it's supposed to the original Yumaniki, you go wada wada wada, you collect a bunch of effects, you drop off your effect eggs in the good old annex area, whatever that's called. And then you wake up and you jump off your balcony in the end. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Spoiler alert. Anyways, like, nice music though. <laughs> and we press the button. Um, 
I guess so. I want to press it. I kind of like the music playing. I want to see how far the camera goes. Is it going to like circle the whole room or is it going to get to a point where it just kind of stops, cuts off? We're going to find out. I did like... Oh, here we go. It goes backwards and reverse after a certain point. Got it. Oh, the music stopped, though. I was thinking it might continue after that. And here we are. Oh, also, we can... Okay, now we can move in, uh, like, a 3D space. Now I'm not restricted to 2.5D, which is in interesting. Fine, we got a computer. So, wait, why is the interact button? I would have not guessed that off the top. Can we leave our room? No. No. I'm not going. I'm sorry to be a little bit silly here, but... <laughs> sorry, just the... Having fun with this for a second. She won't... She she refuses still. All right, that's fine. Uh, what, what else we got? No, I'm not gonna go inside bed yet. Can I sit down? All right, can we save our game here. Let's see if he takes a look. Okay, that's a nice little call back to the original. I will say that. Um, is there subtitles? Is it Matsuki? Her name? Oh, she wrote the she drew the blood splatter that she had. We can turn the pages, except I don't think I have any pages to turn. So is she, like, having a sketchbook now here? That's a bit interesting. Also, I like that cover of the song. The music so far is pretty good. It says, you and Mickey, Dream Diary. You know, that would probably make a lot of sense. Alrighty, we got this. Can I go out to my balcony? Probably. Hey, balcony, my old friend. I'm guessing there's nothing to do out here. Nope. Now, there is something which I'm going to mention. She has a little bit of finickiness when she collides with objects. I'm, I'm not too bothered. Like, I can understand why, but if you're wondering why when I hit something, she starts, like, flailing for a second, that'd be the reasoning. Also, can I run here? Actually, that's a good question. No, cannot run in your room. Oh, well, that's, I guess, because that makes sense, actually. Yeah, you can't even walk slower. Like, she would just walks at the same speed no matter where she's at. That's okay, I guess. It's a pretty... This this area right here is actually a very faithful recreation. I dig it. It's kind of cool just seeing some things you Nikki in 3D space. Also some details, such as the window... I'm not going to click Y because I know it's going to put me in the bed, but like the window curtains have that certain design, which I'm sure Yumaniki geeks will probably recognize. I should also mention I'm actually a pretty big fan of the original Yumaniki. I've played it a few times and did a more proper Let's Play on my channel, and I've played a number of Yumaniki fan games. I still have plenty more I need to play, but I've played, I think, more than the average person. Um, yeah, so fan of the original. Well, let's interact with this. Are we going to play Natsu? Natsu. And then the original music. Oh. It's Super Nasu. Okay. And now they got new layers to the music. Cool. I can dig it. Oh, wait. I should log out of stuff. Excuse me, this for a second. Shh. He didn't see nothing. Alright. Let's play Super Nasu. Instructions. What are the instructions? Grab the falling eggplants, move, and shoot with X. So he's shooting now. Do I not get touched? Why can't I not move to the left? There's nothing with my controls. I can't move to the left. I can only move right. Oh no, how do I do this? You better not smash me! I can't move to the- I can't move to the left! Come over here, you little pinto beans! I'm just gonna fucking shoot here. I'm assuming I don't wanna get crushed by that stuff. Well, I can't move, so I'm just gonna see how my high score goes if I can't move from this position. Oh boy. I know I can't stop anything. Come over here, I'm gonna see what high score I get like this. My hearts are diminishing. That fucking bird doesn't know even know what's up, really. The clouds are really kicking in, and so are the fucking plants jumping everywhere. Alright, I think my death is coming really soon. One of these beans are gonna hit me, I know they are. Oh, 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 oh I survived, somehow. 
Come on, I can't move to see you guys. Come on, come over here. See how long I can go? Oh, there we go, another thing hit me. No, no, this is death right here. It's like death guaranteed, right? I'm so, why have none of those beans hit me? Come on. Oh, this beans gonna hit me though. No, no, never mind, I'm fine. Oh, 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 here we go! Yeah, there it is. Bins are right that one. Oh, there's an eggplant! I got eggplant! I don't know what that means, but I got it. My death is gonna come very, very shortly if I have anything to say about it. Jeez, it's getting really crowded in here. I can't stop any of you guys. There we go, that one. Okay, it's cool how they fall off the screen now. If only I can move left. Well, cool. Uh, I would play more, but I, I kind of wanted to see... My, my, I got a game cartridge. Video games. Does that mean there's more than one game cartridge? Is that my... Is that my yeah, there we go. The label says Super Nasu. That would imply that there's more than one video game here, wouldn't it? Huh. All right. How do I get games to my collection? I guess we'll find out. <clears throat> I want to see if it lets me select my game now. No, it's just Super Nasu. So I'm going to probably quit this, but I'm going to see if I can move to the left here. Why can I only move right? Well, time for a bit more strategic play. I'm only going to play one more time. This is like me playing the original Yuma Nikki and all its game fan games that have games inside them. I play the actual mini game here for like a little bit before I get into the actual game. So I'm, I'm going to try to get myself a little bit more out in the open. I'll only walk to the right when I can, I guess, when I think I'm about to get hit by something. I did get a by there, but I'm okay so far. Alright, alright, see, I bet I could beat my high score like this. Maybe you can go outside and see, though. There we go, we good. Super Nazi looks a bit weird shooting. Not, not like bad weird, just notably weird to me, I guess. I wonder if there's anything to do super well on Super Nuts. Like, maybe there's some sort of secret effect. Speaking of which, I'm kind of curious how this game might handle secrets, if I'm gonna be honest. I, I know nothing, so I, I just bet this game probably does have a number of secrets. Like, it feels like a game that has a number of secrets. I realized that one was about to hit me, but I decided to take a hit. I'll just accept game over, right? I think I need to be able to move left before I can play Super Nuts seriously. Very serious video gamer, you see. Alright, let's go to quit there. Maybe one day I can learn how to move left. I'm just going to blame Atsuki's left control stick not working, because I can move left here fine. Oh, well, whatever the case. Oh, wait, is there anything Super Natsu related inside my journal now that I've done it? It's Super Natsu with Thane. Is Yuma Nikki gonna start... <laughs> like, her name's Yuma Nikki. Is Monatsuki gonna start dreaming about Super Natsu in her sleep? <laughs> no. I hope there's a Super Natsu world. There probably isn't. I don't actually know how many worlds there are right now. That'll be part of the fun, I guess. Well, to the dreaming thing. Oh, hey, it's raining outside. It wasn't raining just a second ago, was it? It definitely wasn't raining a second ago. I can have fun outside all day in the rain. That's what Monatsuki loves. She doesn't actually have any dialogue, so I can just say that she loves something. It's probably true. I mean, the original Yuma Nikki, there's a rain power, so you think she maybe she likes the rain? Yeah, yeah. Moving over here, moving in circles. I'm gonna get sick. I'm gonna spin in circles. I'm going back inside. Now I'm gonna go die of disease. All right, one last thing before we go. The stars. The pillows kind of like indent, but you also kind of clip through them. Hey, Matsuki, do you want to go out? No? Do you want to play video games? No? Do you want to go to bed? Let's go! Straight off to sleep. Rest well, Monatsuki. We'll probably see her in her dreams. <laughs> Just creepy drone kicks in immediately. Okay, so... Do I press the button? Or is this like, oh, there we go. She's getting up. She got this. So, I don't know anything. 
right, so let, let, I'm actually, this is where I'm starting to get a little bit giddy, because I don't really know what to expect, which obviously is part of the fun, I guess, of these type of things. All right, what do we got? Are we go indoors? Of course we go indoors. Enjoy our room a little bit. A few slight differences, like not only have one pillow instead of two, we still clip through it, though. Anything else in the zone can we dream within a dream? Not the, at least not in this bed. <laughs> can I do the chair speed glitch? No. Probably doesn't exist anymore. What a shame. Alright. So you'd think eventually the TV's gonna do something like the original. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, you can see- Oh! The the sheets change from their design to the chameleon, the rave chameleons. I didn't even notice that until the TV was on. See, the rave chameleons. This has to have something. You know it has to have something. You, uh, Matatsuki, your skirt's kind of going insane. Look at her skirt. Fucking, it's got, it's, it's like super sharp physics for some reason. I can roll with it. Let me see something in my dreams. I'm gonna check on this TV every once in a while. I'm gonna watch you, TV. I'm watching you. I'm gonna walk out in the meantime, I guess. Actually, let me go back to my balcony. I'm gonna. I don't actually know what to expect. I'm gonna be like secret hunting, despite the fact I've never played this before. So I'm probably. I bet all the secrets have already been found or something. But I'm still gonna look. I don't know them. Don't tell me them either. I'm gonna find out for myself. So the TV stays on even when you're outside. Interesting. Nope, that's fine. Seizure warning? I guess Monosuke's skirt could give someone a seizure. I know you mean the TV, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just... <clears throat> Creepy shadow effect. Kinda like it though. Well, let's go on out. I'm moving out. Alright, so now we got our... I forget the name of this place. So this is a 2.5D area. The story here is our home. Oh, oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, I, I, I think this effect's kind of cool, like the parallaxing, and you can see inside. Oh no. Oh no, no there she is. I was like, where am I? That's kind of a weird way she wakes up in the worlds. I'll come back to you, TV. Alright, so how many doors do we got? We got, not including the one that we came out of, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, six doors. Okay. We can roll with it. Hmm, what door should I start with? You know, to the left, everyone probably goes in the same order. Let me, let me try something different. You, you're my door. Wait, a, a locked door? Not what I was expecting. I can roll with it, though. Let's try you, then. You're probably not the first door that most people choose. I'll choose you. Any order. Hey, this looks like the actual outside. You can also hear like a distant version of the school chime. This is 2.5D, by the way. I'm just gonna march along. What do we got in school? Even I don't know. We crisscross applesauce straight into this side. Wasn't the door which I went through usually the. What, what, what world does that usually lead to? It's definitely not a school world, I can tell you that much. Somebody's crying. Oh, it's that. I wish I knew their names. Um, that one girl. The black and white girl. Not. not oh. Hi! Wow, you Nikki, you're almost about to do a fucking spin dash. Matsuki spin roll! Mano, okay. Hi, Mano, do I walk really... really slowly? <laughs> well... I, was, I keep on calling you, sorry, Matsuki. Just fun saying the word Jumaniki. <laughs> All right, I could let me jump at her. I'm coming at you, girl. Coming towards the TV, dude. No. 
I guess I need something. Well, I guess I can't go to this world first. At least I can yet. Can I, can I like, 3D break through that way? No, I guess I need some effect. It's okay, I'm making it. I'm gonna make it across the finish line. I'm making the goal, Captain! This is how you play soccer, right? How do I even go back? Is this a door? Is there even a door here? Do doors even exist? How do I wake up? How do I leave? I don't know. This is my first world, so I don't know. I'll figure it out. Hmm. Let me approach her. I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna run at her one more time. I'm sure tenth time's the charm. She's got this handled. I've got her. Uh, I'll press. T I don't. I guess I'll try in a second. Let me. I, I need to try though. For <laughs> never mind. I'm just gonna roll all around. This is. She's fine. This is. This is okay. All right. So yeah, it is just the D-pad down thing, like it was. I guess in the original there. Whoop. Whoop. Hey, guess what? I got your nose. Look at that right there. I got, I got your nose. Got your nose. Got your nose. Got your. I'm gonna disappear now. See you in my dreams. <clears throat> well, that was a night's sleep. Yay! I chose a great first door. Well, we got this. Well, wait, wait. No, he's on. Of course, you don't want to go outside. Let's see what's new in our journal. Today, I learned I can spin dash if I really put my mind to it. I got blood. Oh, I did get something new. I got a picture of the outside of the school. That's all I learned. Did Madatsuki go to school once? New theory, the school was right. I'm sorry, some people probably get the dumb joke, but I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna shut up now. What's outside? Nothing? No, we good. Back inside. Can we go to the bed? Dear Diary, today I turned into Super Mario within my dreams. I don't know quite what that means. <clears throat> Back inside, let's see what we got to explore. TV, you got- Hey! There's two pillows in here now! I was in here just a moment ago and there was only one pillow, I even noted that. Now there's two pillows! Do you think if I keep on waking up, I'll get like more and more pillows? Before I've got a mountain of pillows? Well, we'll find out, I guess. But there was definitely one pillow here previously. Like, in my waking world, there was two pillows. But in the dream world, there was only one. So now there's two. And maybe, maybe maybe soon I can have, like, 50 pillows. Make a pillow fortress. Might so you'd be ready for that one. Anyways, out. Well, we know that that door isn't the first door that they want you to door. So anyways, uh, how many doors are there in total? I think seven, including the one that you come through. So one, two, three. This one was locked. Five. Yeah, there's seven doors. One is the beginning door. One is some locked door. I assume we opened up at some other point. So five more doors to check. Um, I tried this door last time, so this time I'm going to try this door. Ooh, that looks cool. I like escalators. Let's go. Escalator world, gonna go. Actually, it's probably related to that one world in the original Yumneki. Like, the one which you find the flute in, right? The one which also leads to the elevator, which leads you to the witch event. Alright, so let's... Th I've gained a little bit of lag in the room, but I, not, not too bad. It looks like it was just kind of float-in lag anyway. There's a door right here immediately. What can I expect in here? Well, immediately if it's spooky. I'm going back out for a second. The mall area. So keep in mind, I don't... Like, this is just me, myself, and I talking. I don't look, like, at what these things are called. I've never really looked inside Yuminiki's game files. I don't, like, follow the Yuminiki wiki or whatever. Oh, hey! It's that thing. Runs away. Well, at least he left a little trail for me. So I don't really know what any of these things are called. <laughs> so give me a little bit there. I just kind of have taken in my own. Like, I know what some of them are called from fandom stuff, some people mentioning it, but I'm sure some people which will help me name some stuff. But just know that I know the things, I just don't know what they're actually called. 
Yeah, yeah. What do we got inside? I guess I'll explore in here because I'm going to try to explore everything I can. It's got a decent little bit of a 3D layer going on. Alrighty. This looks like. Oh, wait, it's like. Oh, it's the elevator! That's what this is. Can I get the witch event? I want to get the witch event. I don't have a witch power yet, though. Actually, what powers are in this game? What effects would I need? Elevator on. I'm away in this little shanty little elevator. It's bringing me somewhere, that's for certain. Okay. There's a symbol here. It's a valve. Yes, this is on Steam. Alright, so. What do we got? This is under my collectibles valves. An old rusty valve. You don't say. Is that all the. No, no, no. Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, there's another door here, though. What does this door lead to? Oh, I need to use the valve for it? Sure. Oh, oh, it needs something to open it. So it says it needs an item, and the valve is not the item. How about my. Will you take my Super Natsu game cartridge? I think I can't move right in it. Maybe you can. That already means you can make bigger use of it than I could. So come back here once I find, like, a key or something, I guess. Back on down. So obviously the original Yumaniki didn't have, like, item collecting, but frankly I'm not too bothered by that personally. I can already... I, I don't really know how I feel about this game quite yet. I'm still really early in, so I guess that makes enough sense. Um, but I can say I'm not disliking it so far. Um, I'm not really... I'm not saying, like, oh, I'm really enjoying it yet either. I'm just kind of playing it at the moment. Um, I can already see some things about it, which will probably make some purists pretty upset, but I'm not... I've played a lot of Yumaniki fan games, I've played a lot of Yumaniki, I've played a lot of horror games, I just kind of want this to be a good game, hopefully, we'll see how that plays out. Um, given, well, my, well my, I'll form my thoughts when I actually have more thoughts to actually share, I think. What do we got over here? Lever. I guess it switches the direction of the escalators. I would not be wrong. Alright, is there anything behind here? I thought this would be a cool spot to put a secret, I thought I was wanting to be clever. So before I go up the escalator, what's over here? I don't really have camera controls, so I can't really see what's inside here. Let's go like a door here, I can't see. Doesn't seem like it though. Is a flower garden though. The music seems appropriately ominous. Another S escalator, anything back here? I'm gonna check every time just to make sure. I'm not gonna switch them like all these back and forth, I'm just kinda looking around for the moment. How deep can this go? This looks like a door I can enter, but I guess not? Hmm. Things over here, over there... Negatory, Captain. There is at least three escalators if I'm not, like, looping. I could be looping. Uh, there is a distinct possibility that looping is going on right now, but... Haven't quite put together on looping. Nope, there's actually a dead end. Will my valve work? No. Alright, so there's at least three escalators, which I could pass by. Now, they all might lead to the same area, they might lead to different areas. Frankly, I don't know. Which means we'll go on back. I'm gonna go back to the first one by walking. Oh, I'm gonna run. Let's see where we're headed. I think I've got one more escalator to get to. There's like, si technically there's six escalators, because how they go in different directions. I guess I'm going to just start going up here. This is where the other, like, uh, red thing I was going, oh, I, I forgot, oh, I can't jump in this world. Interesting, so there's like limited control things. That thing ran off, but it's, I'm still following it to the same area, so... So yeah, these like lead to the same areas, I guess. Shadow Child? Shadow Child, where'd you, Shadow Child, where'd you go? I wasn't really expecting to see a Shadow Child right there, so I'm not really sure what to make or think of this. The camera's acting a little bit weird right now. I realized earlier what I thought was lag wasn't really lag. It's like the camera is lagging. Like, the game itself is running fine. It's like the camera's kind of jetting. You see what I'm talking about? A little bit odd. <laughs> it looks like she has a huge-ass head. Okay, well, anyways, what's this about? This looks like a puzzle. So this is following how everything is turned, which means, hmm, I'll figure this out sometime, probably. Alright, well, this looks open. I'll go inside. This is actually something. Oh, hey. 
very happy to see me, it seems. It's got googly googly eyes. They're kind of cool and kind of creepy at the same time, so I can dig it. How about you, sir? Music is pretty. Make a band off these fellas. Alright, I'm done. Let's see what's over here. Hey, sir. You're kind of hunched over and look a little bit sad. Now you look happy, actually. What? Oh, you're gonna pull flute out of your sleeve. You know, I'm not sure if I would... Hey, it's got the original Nikki really some sort of stylized right there. But hey, we got a flute. Press X, A, B while holding LB to play. What was that sound about? Do I just... Ah, there we go. Is it, like, under my effects? Inventory? Yeah, but I don't have to equip it. I guess I just kind of have it. Alright. <laughs> I found a glitch. Whee! Brr. Brr. Oh. Howdy do! I fall with it. I go do it back. Oh, I can't do it backwards. Eh. Don't mind me. I, I, I don't actually mind that type of glitch. Ah, I have to copy its melody. So it's like. It was yellow at the end, right? Oh, cons aren't a lot. What? Really happy. You just like the same melody, don't you? I was having fun with it. Whip. Whip. Fun, fun. You want the same melody? Come on, you don't, you don't want to talk to me? Are we not cool anymore? You just give me a flute and send me on my way? Let me do it like this. Maybe you'll pay attention to me if I do it like... Not like that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna leave that there alone. What do you want? No. See you all later. I am sending on my way your musical notes. A wee! <laughs> I'm having fun. Alright, well, what do we got? We got that picture. Do you want the song? No, you don't want it. Bathtub area. Alright, I looked all the way down there. It looks like there's some sort of puzzle. Why is the camera, like, even shaking worse than it was just a second ago? So, it looks like there's a puzzle in this area, but I don't know how to turn everything yet. I see that there's red and blue on each one, but... Will the plants live if I do this? Nope. Wait, there's another shadow child. Hey, wanna listen to my flute? No. Hey, but this door opens. Second floor. I'm going places. Matsu can quit her day job whenever she wants. Does she even have a job? <laughs> I don't think she does. Is this like the others? Is this a new area or like the other? Did I like loop around back here? I don't. I don't actually know. If I see the hallway, I know that I've looped around, so I guess I'm going to use the hallway as my indicator if I'm like in a new area with even more escalators, or if I just kind of looped around. I think I looped around because this looks familiar. So obviously I see that the two figures, I think I need to lead the, I, think, I guess I have to lead that figure from one side to the other by using the escalators, I guess that's what the puzzle is, but I'm not going to mess around with that shit yet, I want to look around first. Going up places, camera's having a fun time. 
It's like TVs here. Oh, there's eyes in those TVs. No. Shadow Child, listen to me play! Ah, I always mess up. I think they disappear when you get close to them, so probably I should stop getting close to them. Or, but that's the excuse just to get closer. Maybe one day I'll get so close they won't disappear. Oh, there it goes. Red splatooning all over this way. You guys are lovely. Want to hear a song? Guess they don't. I tried, though. No one can say I didn't try. So I'm pretty sure I need to use the escalator to... Oh, there's actually in here. I knew there'd be something hidden behind one of these things. Check your diary, or whatever. So I have to mash the Y button to collect things. There you go. You went from so that leads you to the other side, right? Like. All right. So I'm gonna actually try and solve this puzzle soon, but not yet. I'm gonna just look around, and make sure there's nothing else hidden around these parts, and yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm pretty sure I need to hit this so you guys go down. Make the escalators, figure out what direction you guys are running to send you backwards. Listen to my flute. No, they just don't like me. So yeah, so now it's over here, it's gonna run that way. It's really afraid to see me. So I'm chasing it to go through one door, I think, as well, because it picked up the shiny key item I needed. Oh, wait, oh! I chase it the opposite direction. That's what these are for, so you can get around to the other side, silly old me. So I chase it down the escalator. It all makes sense now, doesn't it? Now that I've said it, and y'all were probably looking at me for all the like, Ryan? Ryan? It's okay. I'm going to live with this. I'm going to chase it. Come on, come on. I want you to go down the escalator. Coming at you with a flute near you. You're gonna hear my sick tunes. Oh, here we go. Went down. You got scared. <sighs> I need to flip it. These are both. They're both going up. Well, I now know what I need to do. Okay. Good. Before I chase it, what's going up, what's going down? That's going down. Beluga Madatsuki slowly coming down the escalator. Wait, was that going up? Fuck my life. Okay. Madatsuki was gonna trick this bitch. By going round a circle in a circuit of a mall. Now we follow another day of Matsuki trying to chase down Cuphead. I don't actually know what the character is, but I like I know who they are. They're in the original Nikki. That's so there in the area they get the flute in originally, but I don't actually again I don't know any of their names. So where where are you gonna run? I just saw you. Can't go down now as I go down this escalator. Wait, was this double up? Fuck. Clever girl. You can run, but that's about all you can do. Eventually you're gonna spill out. Or I'm gonna solve the puzzle. Here one comes first, really. I need to pay attention more to where the escalators are leading to. Okay. You went down. That one is definitely going down. So guess what? You're going down. Okay, so that's there. That goes up, so I need to at least mess with this again. All right, what what does this cause? That goes up. That goes up. Okay. Well, I don't want two ups. That goes down. Okay, I think I need to go over here, and this one will turn this one down. 
Yeah, I think I'm starting to figure out that these don't all like affect the same ones. They affect different ones on different sides. I'm only like, just figuring that out. Don't, don't mind me. What, what does it look like right now? Okay. Well, it's gonna run over to this one because that's going up. Is there anything over here for me to alter the cycle? Like, will you alter the cycle? And eradicate that one. Okay. Okay. Coming to a Maratsuki near you. Let's see what we got. Well, now that's going that way. Wait, going down is the way I wanted to go, right? Yeah, so that's good. Alright, I, I get it. I think I get it. I can't go down the up escalator. No! Okay, actually, I was going to take the long way around. Don't worry, I got this. I've, I've set... One of these days, I got this. Okay, I got... Actually, no, wait, no, that won't work. Okay. Okay! Was there another one that let down? Because I'm, I'm not going to scare it the way I want to scare it if I do it like this. Will you change fate? I know what one I want to reach, but how do I reach... Oh, I know what I need to do. Oh, I'm silly. It just went over my head. So this one, I need to switch back in just a second. For the moment, I need to go down. Voila. And now I'm going to hit you. And now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to flip a little bit of a switch. And there you go. Amazing. I, too, can figure out something, maybe sometimes. Oh no. Oh no, I fucked up. I did it right, but then I fucked up. <laughs> I, I should have just checked up for some. Oh, actually. Well, at least I know what I'm doing. I say as I fuck up completely. Don't mind me. I was just checking very manually. You yeah, first round, there you go, and then I hit another switch, and the magical switch pushing has been done. And now I don't go down the escalator again. That, that would just be silly. I mean, who would who would do that? Not me. That's for certain. Now there is one last complication to this. Is this escalator? Yeah, this escalator goes down. Okay, we got this. Now we chase it to victory. It can spill all of its little guts all it wants to, because guess what? It probably is going to open the door for me, I assume. That or get too scared. Come on! We're chasing you all over. We got this. We got you. We killed it. It's okay. Its insides were over valuable anyways. The warehouse key. I'm going to kick it. Oh, I'm gonna play my flute over it. Here is a memorial song for Cuphead. Tada! Now I'm actually gonna check the key on the other door I passed by, as opposed to the big locked door I just was at. All right, places to go, things to run to. If I'm moving over places, what can I see? Running back around. Hey, this is another shadow. That's not me. Alright, well, I'm going to try it. Even though I'm pretty sure the keys for the door was right next to it, I'm going to just try the one that's over here, just because I'm morbidly curious. I'm a naturally curious person who wants to know what's up on this elevator side. Ta-da, I'm going up places. Also, I should see what the warehouse keys actually say. Before I either don't use them or do use them. Okay. All right, so inventory button. It's under our collectibles. A label key that says warehouse. It's in Japanese that says warehouse. That's kind of nifty. I know they weren't the right keys. I just was dreaming and hoping that one day I too could provide the keys that you need. Well, at least now I know. Now let's go to the warehouse. Where did I say? The warehouse. And we pop up out of here. Now I just have to run halfway across the mall, and then we'll be right where we need to be, which is right where we started. You know, these just the little details. Is 
the thing gonna still be dead? Is Cuphead still dead? We'll find out in just a few, more like 20 seconds, but in just about 15 seconds. It does kind of look like Claptrap, of course. This thing predates both Claptrap and Cuphead. I, I know it from the original game, I just don't know what it's called. And it just appropriately is like a spilled cup. Alright, so you're the thing needs the keys, right? That was a lot of chains. And now that I look at it, that's a fucking huge ass padlock. There we go. And it's saving my game. Now I'm in 2.5D world. I'm going. Nah, okay, this should be good. Oh, now the cup is gone. It wasn't gone before I left, though, which is notable. I could run. But I'll take a nice little stroll. Things where they stuffed the Lost Ark? Who knows? I could run. Oh, hey. Mannequin in cutscene. Hey, Mannequin. Are we in Condemned now? To striking poses. So I don't know if they're trying to come and get me. Hey. Let's stay here for a second. You think they're gonna come and get me if I stand still for too long? It's an idea. Striking all the poses. Eh. You two having fun over there? I'll walk a little bit more and see where you gotta end up next. Can you, can you climb on top of boxes? This is a science experiment. Alright, well there's that. Can't get the jumping dolphin girl, can you? Negatory captain. Well, I'll jump over this way then. Matsuki's got this tackled. Another mannequin. Come a little bit closer. Alright, you good. I'm pretty sure if we let a guess while in the dark, it's probably like a wake up event, I'm assuming. Hey, let you guys get a little bit closer. They love me. Oh boy. Oh, they got me. At least I gotta see what happens. Do I wake up like I think I do? Oh, oh no, it's like a checkpoint thing. At least I gotta see what happens. Don't mind me, I'm on my running way. Oh boy, I think I'm a little bit too close. Yeah, I knew it was too close. I should have just ran for it, but I wasn't thinking. Alright, I get it. I get it. I'm jumping. I'm, I'm rolling. I got this. Get a little bit more this way. They're distant stalkers. Alright, now run. Alright, come just a little bit more this way. I'm getting you guys a little bit closer together. Mannequins deserve rights too. Now I'm gonna run for it. I'm okay. Made it! Think they'll get closer in the dark? Mannequins? You there? Oh, they're there. Come on, get a little bit closer. You know when I get close to the Yuki? The Madatsuki? Come on. Come on, I dare you. I triple dog dare you to come closer. Come on. Come get me, mannequins. They're collecting. They got this. The Madatsuki wins again! They're just too afraid of light. Oh, if I had a light power, would that do anything here? Something to think about. I'm just jumping and having fun. If you look at Madatsuki's shadow, I'm clipping through that light right now. Alright. Out we go. 
TV. So TV provides light. I can play a flute. Oh, oh, it's just right there, right there. Give me my light. There's no light here. The light slide to me. Oh, there's also platforming. Now I gotta jump. Will they fall down pits? Can they cross pits? Let's find out. I'm going places. Oh boy! <laughs> I win places. <laughs> I was gonna see if I could jump in the dark, but I didn't know where the corner was. Oh well, I'm just right here, so whatever. Eh. Oh, I made it! Oh, I'm gonna get caught though. Giving me a nice little hug. Matsuki confirmed to have like powers to clean on to things though, so that's good to know when jumping and platforming. Eh. That diamond didn't work though. <laughs> oh I actually landed it correctly, didn't I? I'm, I'm trying to figure out I'll figure out the timing on this. I got this. I think I can just jump jump it. I just held. Let's try and time my jump. Didn't work as well as well as I would have hoped. Maybe I could just jump in and land. I should just try the basic normal answer. Yeah, that worked. <laughs> Don't mind me, mannequins. That one was a tricky one, so they had two things in there. I should have just waited once I saw that, but I decided I was going to try. Pretty sure if I really put my mind to it, I could jump two at once. Oh, no, I can't. All right, so... Oh, but the... Well, you weren't even touching me. All right, so we got to figure this one out. It's going to take a little bit of thought. I got this. This next one's the one I don't got. I guess this one I should jump in the dark beforehand. Haha! -ha! Didn't think I'd make it that time, did ya? Oh, hi. Uh, don't mind me, I was just playing musical instruments! Ha <laughs> ha! I'm musically talented, don't be jealous. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna wait for me. This is a sad song for the mannequins. Truly all they wanted to be were real boys and women, and whatever the gender I guess the mannequin wants to be. Really, it could be anything it wants to be. This is the flute melody to pass on these souls over from one side to the next. For a mannequin can't move in light. A mannequin also cannot jump, nor can it climb. Truly, I can see the reason why I would covet a living life form like me. But then, why would I even dream of a mannequin like this? Who knows, I'm gonna end on a flat note because of that. Alright. Through the door. Is it more man? Oh, oh, I can push boxes all day long. Matsuki's secret favorite hobby, running through boxes. She's like a goddamn cat. I should get the cat power. That's probably not, oh, would that be in this game? Mm, yeah. All right. I should have actually, no, you know what? I'm gonna go back there. I'll visit you in a second. Mashing. I missed a door. Ah, oh, I was mashing the button and I found something. 
concept art. I knew it! I knew there would be something hidden here, that's why I was mashing the button. I missed a door, though. I, I want to explore, so... Where, oh, where may I have missed a door? I, I was smashing the button too soon, and I just opened the door and flipped my backside. Well, I'm gonna run through it regardless. I was running through a pile of boxes one day. Monatsuki the dolphin girl was on her way. Well, yeah, please don't spoil me on stuff. I'm gonna walk. You doing okay, mannequin? Son of your people. Nope. They all seem pretty happy to see me. Then again, who isn't happy to be visited in their dreams by the Monatsuki? I don't think this is looping. You could be inclined to believe that, but I feel like that's not actually what's going on here. Because it's not. There's a bed within a bed. I'm ready to dream within my dreams. I guess there was a deeper world in one of these areas that uh, resembled them all. Oh, hi! Distrust. Disgust. There is the door that we didn't get the key to earlier that was by the elevator, but that's okay. We'll probably get the key to that later, I assume. I don't want to... Oh, Monatsuki, what are you doing?! Nasu. Uh, can I move to the left yet? I bet I can't. The instructions say left is by pressing the left key. My experience hasn't shown that to be true. <laughs> yeah, I still can move left. Exit, yes. Till I can move left one day. Let's quit there. It's okay. The demon possession is dead on now. Alright. Still don't want to leave? Never leave. Just gotta shake her head. No, no, no. She ate something she got at the convenience store, I guess. Sitting outside. It's not raining anymore, so it's got that going for it. Well, time to go back. Actually, no, I should check the concept that I unlocked. Almost forgot about that. Let's see. Was there food on the desk earlier? Also, the pillows are gone. Actually, no, they're not gone. The pillows have moved over there. But there is food on the desk and pillows over that way now. Alright, what do we got? Concept Art Diary. Let me see. Yuma Nikki. I still have got the school drawn there. We got pictures of mannequins and crying symbols I saw on the walls and the flute and the little cuphead thing and all of our friends. And now I've pinned photos of beings into this as well, so that's cool, I guess. We got a nice mannequin picture. Did I miss a piece of concept art? No, whatever. Find out later. Do have concept art? There's probably more I've missed. I mean, I'm gonna try and go for this 100% thing because I'm kind of intrigued. I also just realized that the window. I noticed the curtains earlier, but I just noticed that the actual design on the wall is of the annex area in the middle here. So I forget what it's called. I'm just calling it the annex because of what I'm calling someone else elsewhere. But yeah, yeah, maybe it's called the annex. Get up, Monatsuki. It's time for another night of dreaming. I'm gonna take some water. Ah. Good, Eliu, good. 